Hey you guys, welcome back to the video review. I have been doing very very nice. I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few things that I'm obsessed with and a few things that I collect. The past two videos on the channel that I made last week were like, I have given so much information in those videos. I was like, Oh my god, I need to make a pointless video now because I don't really know how me sharing the stuff that I collect or I'm obsessed with is going to help anyone in the world and nobody really asked me for this video either. I don't know why I'm making it but I wanted to make a pointless video just for fun, fun for me, fun for you. Before I start the video, I do want to request you to please not judge me. Obviously, there are certain things that I have more than I require of but these are things that I really, really like and enjoy in my life and that is the reason i have more of them there's a the thing with me there are certain things that i'm obsessed with and that is what i keep buying and apart from that i am a very like i'm very good with spending my money and i know where my money is going so whenever i'm collecting stuff or whenever i'm obsessed with something i know i very consciously spend more money over there and I really actually enjoy it. Like, the first thing that I have been collecting since ages, like since I was a teenager and that is the reason now I have so many of them, I kind of like stopped collecting them in the middle but still, is keychains. There is tons, tons of keychain in here. I love them okay now the thing is that each keychain over here has a meaning to it i like this is a little dustbin in which i keep my keychains and it's not like i bought the keychains just for the sake of buying them or just like out of nowhere without any me meaning nothing like that i bought them at different occasions of my life like at different special occasions of my life every single time i would have an achievement every single time i felt like oh my god this is such a happy day every single time i did something for the first time ever even if i failed at it i would buy a keychain also i would gift keychains to myself new years on christmas on like basically all these festivals diwali holy everything it was kind of like a ritual for myself like gifting myself something when i was a teenager you guys i did not have enough money to gift myself like something expensive and I was not obsessed with books at that time so I did not gift books to myself and that's the reason I gifted cheap keychains to myself I have really good ones I don't know how many of you remember but when I was younger and I was on Facebook these like memes like these trolls were like really famous I have two more of them inside and I love them so I got keychains of them and then I have this Doctor Strange keychain I have this cute bell keychain I have Thor's hammer I have Messi like this celebration this day is like etched in my heart when Messi did this I know that Messi is not in Barca anymore and oh my god like MSN Messi Suarez and Neymar like that combination used to be like everything for me Iniesta used to be like everything for me and now they're not there anymore and then like my my life feels empty and Barca feels empty to me but that's not what the video is about my next obsession and stuff that I collect is notebooks now these are just the notebooks that I got a few days back and not the only notebooks that I have I have like tons and tons of notebooks so this is how I shop for notebooks whenever I go outside like to a bookstore or a stationery shop I just see that if there are notebooks that are like cheap and at the same time like really really good quality I will buy them I rarely rarely buy notebooks off of Amazon and by notebooks I mean notebooks not journals I am not obsessed with the journals i will only pick on one journal and i will stick to it currently i'm obviously obsessed with elamor elamor is the journal that i have produced this year it is a very very big enough friendly journal but at the same time it's so time efficient and that is the reason i'm sticking to it i already finished one journal and now i'm on my second one it is like a three month journal in the morning when i have to journal it does not take me a lot of time and yet i am able to like get everything that i want to journal journaled i do have a video on how i do my daily journaling i'll link it in the description you can check it out but all of this is just to say that i'm not obsessed with journals i'm obsessed with journaling but i am obsessed with pretty notebooks like this cute notebook like look at the pattern it is so cute and then i found this like it's so gorgeous and the quality is like come so good so good be happy again this is such a bright notebook and this and this and 
it's i love notebooks and i have so many more of them like it's not like insanely a lot like not insane at the same time the reason i'm not sharing them on the videos because i'm using them so it's not like i buy the notebooks and i keep them and i never ever touch them ever in my life that does not happen which i am proud of but i do buy a lot of notebooks at one time and from this going to the next obsession which i can't show you because there's just too much of it and it's like really scattered it is stationery anything stationery art supplies like i do count it under stationery because i'm not an artist so i'm not gonna say like oh i'm obsessed with art supplies i don't have as much but like art supplies scales pens pencils sharpener erasers highlighters sticky notes whatever comes under stationery i have it and i love it and there's a stationery shop in Ahmedabad. It's called the Skyline Stationery or Sky Star or something like that. Oh my God! It was like this huge mall of stationery, and I went crazy when I went over there. Like I got art supplies from there, but everything was stacked so well, and it was like literally there. It was not like a normal stationery shop. I do go to stationery shops and like go crazy, but in general stationery shops, there's a countertop and the stuff is like on the other side, and you can't really touch it and you can't really see it. But this was like a mall, like a like a mega mart kind of a thing for stationery. And there were different aisles for different stuff, a different whole other aisle for art supplies, and there were like these boxes filled with brushes of different sizes and different shapes like chisel shaped round shaped all that it was I I died on that day I am so happy that I was not doing impulse buy on that day otherwise I would have like shopped the entire shop the next obsession I have is nail paint and look at this cute little trolley my dad got it for me my dad gets this really small small stuff for me like, so I use this trolley for my nail paint and I love nail paint I used to be obsessed with nail art when I was a teenager. I had a minimum of 50 fake nails, the single ones with an art on them. And then my mom's friends and my older friends, they would come to me for nail art. And that's how obsessed I was. And then shit had happened in the middle because of which I was like, ooh, I don't put nail paint. Like, I don't know why I did it. But recently I've been rediscovering my love for nail paint and I put nail paint a lot. Like it's so therapeutic. And when I get it right, like when there are, when there is no nail paint on the edges and stuff it just makes me feel so proud and so accomplished and it's it's a whole other feeling nail paint actually represents a lot of stuff for me you need to make like a whole other video on it or if you follow me on instagram or if you subscribe to the newsletter you know what i'm talking about already but yeah this is the nail paint now a lot of you guys keep asking me what nail paint i use and this is obviously not sponsored but i usually use a uh, nail paint of nika and mostly matte colors whenever i want them shiny i just put like this transparent coat on top I, I can't find it right now transparent coat on top but usually I like it matte again I don't really see how you guys care about it but again I don't really see how this is helpful to anyone I feel so weird like sharing this information with you guys but yeah like just saying okay my next obsession is coffee now coffee is not something that I collect but I love coffee okay i i have loved coffee again since i was a teenager you know how like when you're 21 or 25 it's different in different states and countries you get into the legal age of drinking and even though i don't drink i had this legal age for drinking coffee when i was 12 years old and i was waiting to turn 13 so i can start having coffee and then since i'm 13 i'm having coffee initially i used to have coffee at home like instant coffee nescafe and when i was like in 11th 12th standard i had to like sit through nights in order to study and I, I was having a lot of coffee at that time at that time i started having turkish coffee this coffee that again my dad used to get it for me turkish coffee is a mix of multiple beans now it was not obviously as authentic as real turkish coffee that i would have in turkey but you get it in uae in dubai and i used to get it uh, from there it was like the tastiest thing in the world but it did cause some reactions in my body because of which then i had to leave that earlier i really Really, really really heavily used to judge people who used to have coffee outside like when I used to have instant coffee thinking what could make you go and spend like 200 rupees or 150 rupees whatever it is on coffee outside when you can actually make it at home like that's 
what I used to think. And my friend Himalaya, he used to have coffee outside when I was in college, and I used to judge him so much, and I used to keep telling him that like this is the dumbest thing that I see in my life, and like you're so dumb for spending money on something that you can make at home. Like why would you do it? And then this one day, like after my obsession with Turkish coffee was over, and after the reactions that it did in my body, and I had to stop having it, I did have coffee outside in McDonald's. One day, one day I had mocha in McDonald's. It was a Saturday, and then since that Saturday till this Saturday, there has not been one Saturday except in lockdown that I've not had coffee from McDonald's. This one McDonald's in Ahmedabad, and the coffee is made by this one Didi over there. Nobody else makes the coffee for me. Recently, I thought of exploring Starbucks because Starbucks is like so talked about when it comes to coffee. But till now, I have not found like my coffee drink in Starbucks. When I go to Starbucks, I have matcha, and Starbucks is not a regular thing because one, it is too too far away from my house, and two, because I don't get to have coffee over there. I have matcha over there now. Matcha is not my obsession right now because I think I have to like explore a lot of stuff with matcha. But I do know that it's a healthier option. But I don't really care. Coffee, coffee. Oh, it's so good. And like now I'm at a point where I like mocha. I like black coffee. I like iced coffee. I like Italian mocha. Like, give me coffee in any form, and I will have it. And especially black coffee, I love it so much because it is only coffee, and it is authentic coffee, and it is so freaking good. So yeah, I love coffee. Talking about Starbucks. And coffee, my next obsession, which is very very recent, I was not obsessed with it. Wow, I showed it. Obsessed uh, with it earlier is these sippers or travel mugs, whatever you call it. I'm. I don't know why that dog is like continuously barking. I really hope you can hear me. I'm just showing you the ones that I use on a daily basis. These are like the four that I use on a daily basis. I have water in them, and I have juice, and I have coffee in them. This mug has a whole other meaning to it. It was not a meaningless purchase, or it was not an impulse buy. There was a reason why I got this mug, and again, that's a very long story. But basically i am very much into symbolism i don't know if this is called symbolism but like i want something physical like in the physical world as a symbol of my progress in the real world so even my tattoos sometimes like i have both two of them this one is a symbol this one is not a symbol but this is a symbol of something that i had discovered recently and so i went and i got this tattoo my keychains were symbols this is the first zipper that i bought as a symbol okay it was not like a big thing i wanted this basically since i was a kid like since i was a teenager again i was in uae and i would go to starbucks and i wouldn't have coffee but my parents would and my parents friends would and over there i would see this since then i have wanted this and when i told my dad this my dad was like you could have just told me and i would get it for you but that's the point i did not want him to get it for me i wanted to get it for myself like that is what this signifies like i got it for myself i got something that i wanted as a teenager for myself now that is not the only thing that this symbolizes obviously realizations that i had on day on that day they were related to this only me connecting to my teenager self and talking to her and understanding what her needs were and telling her that look at where i am and like all that stuff it was a beautiful beautiful day so basically yeah that's the reason i got it but then i used it and oh my god you guys and i see like a very aesthetic pretty bottle filled with water i want to have it otherwise i forget having water that's how it is and when i started having water in that i was it it just felt so good so then i got this the next one this is from sleepy owl again not sponsored but this is transparent and i wanted a transparent mug and whenever i have juice i have it in this and that is again a whole other experience i think i'm a very visual person or something because when i see the different colors of juices in this mug it just i feel like the whole like you know juice actually affects me in a much more satisfying and healthier way like on a psychological level and then i got this this is again from starbucks but this, this was not as expensive as the black one it's so pretty it ha holds like 700 ml of water so i have to have a minimum of 3 of these in a day so that i'm hydrated properly also because these are sippers i am not gulping down water i'm like having it slowly and that is you know important and this one is 
free of cost the thing is again this is also from starbucks i went to starbucks two days before the anniversary and i saw this mug and i wanted like a transparent mug of starbucks i was like oh my god i just wish they had a transparent one i really want it like i don't know why I, why they're not coming out with it and i was so excited when i saw this and i was like oh my god i have to buy it i knew that i have like three four of them already so i did not want to spend too much money on it because again it would be impulse buy it wouldn't be something i'm buying like consciously when i asked the guy how much this is he told me that their 50th anniversary is coming up in two days on october 2nd and they are giving this to anyone who is having a drink on 2nd october from starbucks and i was like excuse me 2nd october was saturday so obviously like i go to mcdonald's for coffee but that day i decided to go to starbucks i know that this was a marketing strategy and blah 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 but i was so happy i was so excited when i got it and now whenever i get coffee delivered to home i have coffee in this because it's transparent and i can see it and when i go to starbucks and i have matcha i have it in this because matcha is green and i like seeing the color my next recent obsession is tote bags again these are not all of them there's some of them i just wanted to show you that i have some of them i get it from different places sometimes i get it from like shops a few days back i went to latitude and i got one which has namaste on it i don't know if it is in this then i got like this pink one from like a random shop and i got some of them from amazon tote bags okay like i am obsessed with them for like three reasons one they're just like way too cheap like way too cheap two environmental friendly since i've gotten tote bags and i take them outside my consumption of paper bags or plastic bags has reduced tremendously i've always tried to not use plastic bags when i go outside but when i used to go outside like like i did not know that i'm going to shop something and i used to go outside i would have to take a plastic bag if they did not have paper bags and i used to be like so guilty about it because the least i could do is not use a plastic bag now when i use tote bags and i always have a tote bag with myself like i am only carrying tote bags outside when i go outside i always have it with me and no matter what my purchase is i don't have to take a plastic bag even a paper bag in that case and i'm so so happy about it it always makes me like really happy every single time i do this like even with the sipper okay whenever i go to buy juice they give it in a plastic um, mug and i did not want to use it and that's the reason i take this and go now that was one of the major reasons because i did not want to use that much plastic and that's the reason i have a sipper with myself when i go outside i don't buy water bottles outside most of the times because i have water in my travel mug with myself it's just like really i, I mean this is basically nothing in the whole scenery as to what i can do to you know for mother nature but it is something and i take small step steps every day and i try to do my best whole reason they are way too pretty for being something that have the first two benefits like being cheap and being extremely eco-friendly they're so pretty no matter what i wear no matter what i wear they look pretty with everything if i'm wearing something businessy if i'm wearing something casual if i'm wearing some, a dress it does not matter what i'm wearing it goes with everything and it looks way too pretty and it has like these amazing prints in the front and i love it and when i buy it from small businesses or like shops around it's they are so pretty like the handmade ones <gasps> I love it. I love tote bags so so much. And last but so not the least, I am obsessed with like again symbolism, like collecting stuff which relates me to my old memories. So I have this bag which I cannot find like since we have shifted, but it's like a small bag and I remember I got that bag when I was traveling in Jet Airways and I was like in second standard and i was going from bihar to chennai like i was shifting and at that time in jet airways they used to give this coloring like package to children and that's where i got that bag from i'll probably show it on instagram maybe i don't know follow me on instagram maybe you'll see it over there or maybe i'll make a whole other video on it why not like it's it's yeah i should make a whole other video on it since then since i was like in second third standard i've been collecting some stuff which is like meaningful so for example i made this plan for myself a room plan for myself and it had too much of barbie stuff like i see it and i'm like oh my god seriously like i made that because 
because it has a lot of barbie stuff in it and i was clearly obsessed with barbie at that time and when i showed that plan to my dad along with my plan my dad also made a plan for the room obviously it was way more adultish and has like it had like this whole sound system and this and that but it was kind of like a vision of the room that my dad would want me to have and i have that too then i have my medals in it and i have like really small stuff like a pencil from a moment and i have like this 10 rupees note with uh my family's sign on it and we did it on the day india won the world cup and again we were in uae and that was the first time i was following a cricket like i never followed cricket before that but it was the world cup and i was following cricket and india won and we were so happy that we signed that note and i had to myself so this stuff you know over the years i've collected some stuff in that bag and i have it yeah So yes you guys this was it for today this was an extremely long and chatty video that i don't know if you asked for it or not but i'm just sitting in the balcony it's a beautiful day it's windy but at the same time like not too windy and it is sunny and just wanted to make a chill video and not be like oh my god where is information in the video you know for one day so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i want to live a minimal like a minimalistic lifestyle and i think i'm working towards it at, as much as possible but i'm taking one step at a time because at the same time if there is something that i really like i want to get it it's really not about the stuff that i am getting like i don't it's not about like oh i have too much of stuff with me it's about what it represents so if there is anything big or small think of things that make you happy they don't really have to be things it can be experiences also like i have an experience whenever i have coffee and kind of like like you know like have fun with them take care that you're not harming someone because of it take care that it's not impulsive but if you like doing something do it you know it just gives you so much happiness and for example if there is a day where i am not feeling like very very good about myself or if i'm not feeling very good about my work and i feel like what have i achieved till now i see this mug and it gives me a like a lot of happiness it does not have to be something expensive or like it does not have to be a mug obviously it just has to be something that makes your heart flutter and that is what is important your heart fluttering and beating and butterflies in your stomach they are amazing feelings to have and i think we sometimes take it for granted and i don't think that we should so yeah that is it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys very very soon bye